Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to isolate and culture phosphate solubilizing bacteria at home so that you can use them on your garden or other project or just simply add them to your bacteria collection. Now before starting, you will need to prepare some tools. The tools that you will need are a dropper, a spreader, an inoculation loop, and alcohol lamp. Start by getting some sample. Phosphosolubilizing bacteria are quite common in soil, so we need to look for them in the soil. Find a place to collect some soil, preferably with roots of small plants such as grass. Because microbes in soil are more abundant near the roots of plants. Next, add some water to the soil and shake it to wash out the bacteria. It is better to use boiled or bottled water which is cleaner. You can add 10 ml of water to each grain of soil, or you can dilute it even more. I would say 10 to 100,000 times dilution will be fine. Then use a dropper to drop the water onto the culture medium. About 1 to 2 drops is enough. After that, use a spreader to spread it evenly until dry. The agar plate I'm using here are Pico V Skaya's agar, which is a culture medium for screening PSB. I already made a video on how to make this agar at home, so you can go check it out after you watch this video. After spreading the sample, flip the plate over and put it in a bag. I didn't need an incubator because I want to find bacteria that can grow at room temperature. It will normally take 2-3 to three days for the bacteria to grow. After that, place the plate on the light to observe carefully. If you see a transparent ring around some of the bacteria colony, which might be uh, not very obvious and require careful observation at a specific angle under the light to see clearly, but however, this ring represents the dissolution of calcium phosphate in the agar by the bacteria, causing the white area to disappear and become more transparent. This is what we are looking for, the phosphate solubilizing bacteria. Next, use the inoculation loop to transfer the bacteria colony to a new agar plate to isolate and purify it using the streaking plate method. I have a video you can watch about this method if you are not familiar with it. If everything goes as planned, after the culture, we will obtain a pure single colony that should look like the one in the video, and the transparent ring will be more visible. At this point, we know that we have successfully isolated the phosphate solubilizing bacteria. Don't be discouraged if you don't find any PSB. PSB are quite common, and if you haven't found any after trying on like 10 or more plates, it's probably a sampling problem or an error in the culture medium. You might need to start all over. Next, we need to cultivate the PSB to increase its quantity. I'll use a gradual increase method to reduce the chance of contamination. First, I use an inoculation loop to transfer a single colony into 10 to 20 ml of culture medium, which will be incubated at room temperature. Then the culture medium become cloudy, it means the bacteria have grown. So use an agar plate to confirm that the bacteria are in fact PSB, and then I can start a larger culture. Here I have increased the 10 ml of bacteria culture into 100 ml. Of course, you can increase it even more, I'm just demonstrating the principle. The formula for this culture medium I'm using is here. A mixture of yeast, sugar, protein powder, and calcium phosphate. I suggest checking the culture every time to make sure it's PSB 
to avoid contamination. If the cultivation is successful, we can start plant testing. I didn't film this part due to time constraint, so I'll explain it with diagram. Select two plants for each test, one given the bacteria and the other given the sterilized culture medium to see whether the isolated bacteria helps the plant grow. It's generally recommended to test in separate part to prevent any harmful bacteria, although the chance of this happening is relatively small. During the filming process, I use about 10 agar plates for the initial sampling for the soil and find 15 suspect colony. After screening, I was able to isolate 6 PSB bacteria. This shows that the quantity of PSB in soil, although it's not very high, but not very rare either. With correct operation, the probability of isolating PSB is quite high. I put the two videos on how to make agar and how to do streaking plate on the end screen so you can go check it out. Hope you can all isolate your own PSB successfully. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.